What is up guys and welcome to episode 4 of how to be a good Call of Duty player. How to be better at Call of Duty because you guys want to know how to be a Sandy Ravage. Now I can't guarantee you will be a Sandy Ravage after watching all of these uh, episodes but I can guarantee you that you will probably be a better player than you were before. Unless you are already a 2KD player, I think you guys can improve from what I'm saying. Hopefully. Hopefully. So, um, let's start off right away because I did not have a lot of time. So, starting off, try using a sensitivity over 4, okay? So, the reason why I say use a sensitivity over 4 is because naturally over time your thumbs will get used to a sensitivity of 4 or over. If you are on a 1, 2, or 3 sensitivity, I suggest bumping it up to 4, okay? 1 is absolutely atrocious. If you're on 1, you probably... Maybe you came from Halo. I'm not sure. I started out on, like, 3, and I worked my way up. 1 is just absolutely horrible. If you're playing on 1, you have no sense of turning. You have no sense of control, precise uh, accuracy. Because let's just say there's someone on the very right of your screen, or maybe there's someone on your right shooting at you. You cannot turn on that person. It's an automatic death. Right now, I play on the sensitivity of 9, and 9 is perfect for me. Um, I've gotten used to it. I have control freaks, and they help me out quite a bit, actually. But realistically, I don't know if control freaks really help you out all that much. They give you more area to cover on your control freaks, but in the end, I'm thinking that I've actually got so dependent on them that I literally cannot play on a controller without control freaks. So I need to bring along my little control freaks to everyone's house if I'm going over there. I'm going to play Xbox. But, like I said, um, if you really want to raise your sensitivity and you're not that high at all, what I did, I started out in World at War and eventually, by Modern Warfare 2, I was on a steady 7 to 8, um... 7 to 8 sens sensitivity. And so I started out on 2 every single week during the summer, or every 2 weeks, I would bump it up by 1 point. And over time, it, like, right away, it doesn't seem like a whole lot. It, but it might. It might, if you play on 1 sensitivity for a while, it'll, it might get a little bit hard to get used to, um, for the little, for the first little while. But over time, like I said, you will get used to it. It will come naturally. And, I don't suggest going up to 9. 9 is maybe a little bit too high because for me at least I've gotten so used to the 9 that it's I snipe tons and I love sniping on high sensitivity. It just gives me so much accuracy I find. But I would suggest if you are going for a um, really um, versatile sensitivity, I would say 6. 6 is probably the best sensitivity to go with. Maybe 5. 5 or 6 is in my opinion is the best sensitivity to go with. But then again, sensitivity is all up to you. I'm not trying to force you to pick a higher sensitivity. Whatever you feel comfortable with, you use. And whatever you feel more comfortable with, that'll get you a better game and play better, that's what you gotta use. Because in the end, it, it helps you, it doesn't help me. So let's go on to the next point, And that is, um... Okay, if you're playing Search and Destroy, I'll, I'll cover this really short. If you're playing Surge Destroy or Demolition, know where you're going to go right after you uh, plant the bomb. I said that because I play Surge Destroy a lot, and I know a lot of people that do play Surge Destroy, but it is becoming less common in Black Ops because I don't find it as fun as, like, fast-paced as Modern for 2 with the Marathon Lightweight. So we'll see come Modern for 3, hopefully it is more fast-paced, and I would love it if it was. So you got to have set places after you plant the bomb, know exactly where you're going to go. Because if you don't, you're going to get caught choosing between one or two areas, and you're probably going to die. Um, another thing is you got to um, take note of the location of an enemy um, appears. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I was reading my notes out loud. I don't know on my iPod. Okay, so take note of when an enemy shoots, okay? So not a lot of people use silencers in Black Ops or Call of Duty in general. So try to use your radar to your advantage. If you have... Use a counter UAV as a kill streak. Oh my goodness, I hate counter UAVs. It is an amazing kill streak, and I suggest using it. Really, I suggest using it because I hate counter counter UAVs. Not because they're overpowered at all. They are not overpowered one bit, but for the reason that I use my radar so much that when I don't have a UAV, I feel lost. I really do. 
because my eyes are constantly peering up to the UAV and looking up there. So if you do not, if you do not trust your kill streaks being at Blackbird, Chopper Gunner, maybe Dogs, I suggest maybe going for a UAV, Counter UAV, Black, or no, maybe I'd say UAV, Blackbird, Chopper Gunner, or UAV Attack Helicopter, um, Blackbird. I always ride the Blackbird for the reason of Blackbirds are the most overpowered kill streaks in the game. Let's face it. If you know exactly what direction the opponent is standing and what how they're moving across the map, exactly what point they are in real time. Okay? Sure there's a counter with counter UAV, but how many people actually ride the counter UAV? It cannot be shot down by Estrella or not Estrella, a uh What's it even called in Black Ops? I haven't played in a week. FML, that's bad. But anyways, it cannot be shot down, and I think it's good that it can't be shot down because I worked hard for that Blackbird. But let's just face it, Blackbird is probably the most overpowered kill streak. Moving on. Um Burst firing at medium to long range. Okay, I cannot emphasize this enough, people. I do not hold on to that trigger. I burst fire. Okay, short range, I will hold on to the trigger, but just watch the game. If you really feel like it, watch the game over, and watch me burst fire at medium to long range. Burst firing, I just kind of tap it. Did it, did it, did it, did it really quick with my, uh, finger. Almost like I'm, like, semi-using a, uh, FAL or something, right? And just enough so I can control the, um, what's it called? Control the kick of the gun, and... If you can control the kick, control the recoil, that's what I was looking for, the recoil. If you can c control the recoil and hit all your shots, you will definitely win more gunfights. So watch watch how I, how I burst fire there. I did not get him because I didn't have enough guns, or not guns, didn't have enough ammo, but burst firing is so important. You notice that people um, that start out, they just hold on to the trigger, trigger and just go wild. Just go wild with their aim. And that is not the way to do it. You gotta burst fire and get hit those bullets because each bullet hitting is better than not having any bullets hit at all. So I think that almost wraps it up. I'm guessing maybe this might be the last episode or the next one. And if you guys came from um, Machinima, I'm probably gonna be posting these on Machinima. And if you did, please come check out my channel. I would appreciate it so much um, I've been working hard on my channel for a year almost two years actually I started in January of 2010 so we're, we're moving our way close I have 200 plus videos now and it is amazing all my subscribers on my channel are outstanding I love each and every one of you guys and I'm sorry for using the FAMAS straight out the gate I, kn I know I'm gonna get dislikes and hate for this I really know it but I I thought I'd use this game because, oh yeah, one other thing, if you really want to do really good, use the FAMAS. I know, I know, I don't want to promote this gun any more than it is used, but if you are having a hard time getting good games, trust me, just use the FAMAS, you will do better. It is the most overpowered um, gun in the game, it has been patched, but not patched enough. So, that about wraps it up. I hope you guys don't dislike this video just because I use a FAMAS, but if you did, okay, cool. A rating is a rating. If you guys could give this a rating, I would appreciate it so much, and I'm done, guys. I will catch you guys later. Peace. Oh, also, one more thing. Um, could you type in the comments what you want some more topics to be? Um... I've been working on lots of topics, brainstorming, but I'm kind of running out of ideas. I did this little uh, series because I thought this was an amazing idea to help you guys. And anyways, that is it. Put it, put some topics that you'd like to see me discuss in the uh, channel or in the comments of this video, and uh, I'll I'll be looking through them. Anyways, that is it. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.